Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today I want to show you my favourite racing game in VR with Vorpex. But before you do that, I want to um, I want to show you something. I want to discuss something with you. On screen right now, this is my favourite VR racing game, Dirt Rally 2. I'm going to um, jump into it now. Look. Okay, for you guys on the screen. You can just see a normal 2D screen. You can't see the 3D I can see in the game. Okay, so I'm sat in a rally car. I can look to my right. There's my co-driver. I can look out the window to my left. I can look into my mirror. I can see the road behind me. So this is what you class as a proper VR game. I'm not using any motion controllers. I've got no hands in the game. I'm playing this game with a, an Xbox controller. Okay, I'm going to do a quick race. You ready, mate? Five, four, okay. three, two, one, go. Six right long, upwards of a crest, 30. So, I'm in this racing game, guys. Left of a crest. My main focus in this game is to keep my eye on the road. The ability to look around, look out the window is really, really amazing in this game. And that's what makes VR so powerful. But 90% of the time, I'm focused on the road ahead. I need to make sure I don't crash. So you guys opposed to Vorpex, or you haters, or you naysayers. You can't tell me this is not a proper VR game. If you were to tell somebody that Dirt Rally 2 in VR is not a proper VR game, people would laugh at you. Because this is a proper VR game. I can look around me, I've got full head tracking, that sort of thing. So bear in mind, I'm in a racing game, this is a proper VR racing game, the majority of my concentration is facing forward, looking out the window, and I'm racing. And these types of games are my favourite types of games. I like the uh, dips and the drops. Games like Project Cars were okay, but to me they're a bit flat, the tracks are a bit flat. Opens, middle of a jump. And again, it's really hard for you guys to watch on a monitor where I can see. That was a hill. I just went over a hill there. And in my eyes, in my headset, it's three-dimensional. It's a proper hill. That was another hill. I can see every single farrow and ridge in the road. All the trees look real. The roads look real. The fences look real. The car looks real. So now I'm going to jump into my uh, favourite VR Vorpex game. And we're going to do the um, same analogy. So let me just quit this. Okay, so now we're going to bring up Vorpex. I'm going to type in the name of my favourite VR racing game in Vorpex. Um, the game's had an update. It's got a new engine. Um, I tried it last year. I could not get it to work. It's got a new profile, so it's had a name change and everything. There we go. Repfest. It's on Steam. It's not cheap. Last night I brought the uh, the new season pass. We're currently in season two, so I've now got all the DLC for the game. I got the main game. I brought the main game when it first came out. Back then it was called the next car game. Um, it's now called Breakfast, so I tried this last night. Now, I have to tell you straight away, guys, uh, it does not always hook to the game. Um, I tried it about five or six times with this profile. Um, it would not hook a few times. Uh, a few times there were no 3D, which was really weird. And I was messing around just playing the game um, on like a flat screen in a big cinema. And for some reason I changed some settings and it just popped into, the 3D just popped. 
and you'll know if it's 3D you'll know when the 3D's popped so let me uh, boot up Steam and let me boot up Steam VR again I'm showing you what I'm doing on my monitor and this is how easy it is to get the game up and running in Vorpex with this profile I had a quick mess around I got a really cool tweak which I want to show you guys OK, library, rep first, and we're going to boot up the game. You should see Vorpex hook yourself to the game. Before you boot up the game, guys, go to uh, rep first, right click on properties, and make sure these two boxes here are unticked. If these are ticked, the game boots up into the um, Steam Windows mode, which is like a giant 2D cinema. So make sure these are unticked before you uh, launch the game. Try the top one. Last night um, I didn't have this box popping up. I know Steam VR's had an update last night as well, so fingers crossed this still works. And I'm going to show you guys what I can see inside the headset. I'll play the game for 30 minutes and then I'll record my desktop view as well. Okay, I can see Repfest in my HMD. Okay guys, here we are in the game. Uh, let me show you my uh, in-game settings. Okay, if we go to settings. Okay, display, screen resolution 1920, aspect ratio on auto, screen mode on windowed. If you go into um, gameplay, go down here, make sure field of view is to the maximum, plus 30. Now, the first time you play the game, guys, you might not see any 3D. Um, I've been playing the game about half an hour now. I did my first race. As soon as I start the next race, the 3D kicked in. Okay, so let me show you my graphic settings. I'm going to reset to the default settings for my um, card. Okay, medium textures, um, filtering on ultra. I'm going to turn motion blur off, vignette off, sharpening off. I'm going to leave this alone. This is not working in 3D, so I'm not going to mess around anymore. Okay, back to the uh, Vorpex settings. Okay, so you're playing the game in cinema mode. As you can see, guys, this is like a giant 3D cinema. Uh, this is the default profile for the game. I've not changed anything. I'm going to change something now to make it even better for you guys. I discovered this last night. Screen curvature. Put that all the way to maximum. What that does is... It um, bends the screen around you. So I'm in this 3D car. Um, it's like having three monitors. Have you seen those videos where they have the, like, the three monitors? There's a monitor in front of them and then they have a monitor at the side. Basically this is very similar. But this is more realistic because you, you feel like you're actually in the car. So instead of having this big monitor in front of you, I feel like I'm more one-to-one -one with the car. The benefits of curving the screen, when I'm racing I can now look to my left and I feel like I'm looking at my left window. Not so much with the right hand side. Now the problem with this game is you can't play this game in full VR mode. Immersive screen is not really very good. I'm going to get rammed here. Yep. So this game does not support head tracking. So basically that means once you're inside the car there's no way to look around the car. Even when you play the game pancake mode, you've only got button presses that change your camera angle in the car. So at the moment, this game does not support head tracking. But I'm going to be playing this game just like I showed you in Dirt Rally. My main focus is driving. I want to be focused on the road. I'm going to be looking to my left a little bit 
see the drivers on my left I can't see the drivers on my right I don't have any mirrors in this um, in this mode in this car but I'm getting the same experience with the graphics and everything in this game like I did do it rally like I said guys this is my favorite VR racing game in Vorpex you'll see why if you don't know anything about this game remember back in the day we had destruction derby on the PlayStation 2 this is a modern day destruction derby I'm going to do a few courses in my headset view so you guys can see me driving the car looking to my left look looking to my right if I look too far to the right you can see the edge of the screen so at any time in the game if you hit center tracking that will center the that's center now look so this screen is now central for me so I can drive the car look out the main window look to my right look to the left looking to the left feels like I'm looking out the window anyway I'll do a few levels in this view where you guys can see what I can see in my headset and then towards the end of the video I'll record my desktop which should be a lot smoother for you guys okay so let me just explain we're running in um, Z normal mode the 3D is really good actually guys it's not too bad now uh, Z normal you normally get better performance than you do 3D geometry this game is super intensive graphically and effects wise so Z normal is a perfect choice I'm not going to mess around with anything else this feels perfect it's not the best 3D in the world it's still 3D and it still plays and looks just like Dirt Rally 2 so my argument for those naysayers for Vorpex um, I disagree I'm getting the same experience with Vorpex with the pancake game playing with the Xbox controller just the same as playing Dirt Rally 2 which is a proper VR game if you make any mistakes click on reload that will reload the profile back to its original form you'll have to change the uh, screen curvature again okay so I'm going to uh, restart the game restart the map I'm choosing the uh, police car and you know when the 3d pops in guys you can tell I can see the 3d already okay let's do this go so this game is all about ramming other cars trying to get into first place the game's got some really amazing courses so I'm looking at my left window I look at these guys coming up on my left 3d is amazing The uh, destruction physics in this game are the best I've seen in any racing game. This is still in early access so every now and then you do get a bit of slowdown. I don't know what's causing that. It's not Vorpex guys, it's the game itself. There's a plank of wood there on my bonnet. I've even uh, rebooted my PC. Whoop. So if you're seeing a slowdown in the video, it's the game, not the, uh, not my recording or Vorpex. But this game's so amazing. It's now got two season passes, loads of new cars, loads of new tracks. So I need to look to my top left to see my um, scoreboard look, I'm in 4th place, I'm on lap 2, oh Christ, this is just as immersive as Dirt Rally 2 and there's a lot more happening on the, uh, on the screen, look at that guy, he had a weird car. Did you see his pistons sticking out of the uh, bonnet? 
Ah! Uh, he ran me off the road. Stop! Come on, come on! Stop! Okay, come on! I'm stuck in a ditch. Okay, I'm going to restart the match anyway. This is my practice run. I do believe these games are easier to play in VR because you can judge the corners. You can judge when to break, when to turn, that sort of thing. This is superb, guys. It really is. I have seen this game on sale numerous times so the next time there's a big steam sale guys try and uh, grab this game it's got endless possibilities the developers are amazing the community is amazing it's got modding look at this oh Christ okay hit that weird car he's going the wrong way excuse me move out of the way mate And uh, this feels one to one. I feel like I'm in a real car, guys. They are still tweaking the game. I can remember playing this game a few years ago. Performance was terrible. In fact, the performance was so bad, the developers... Um, started the game on a new engine so basically um, they started the game from scratch on a brand new engine uh, this engine is a lot more smoother okay back up to 11th place okay we have a winner And this game's got a really cool arcade feel. If you like arcade racing games, and if you was a big fan of uh, Destruction Derby back in the day, this is a must. Even if you don't have VR guys, this game, Pancake Mode, is amazing. Okay, so we're going to continue. In this event mode, there's uh, four different tracks. Uh, this game is oozing content. It really is. Okay, we're on to the next event, a banging race. Flash him out of the way. Steam VR had an update last night, I don't know what it was. Even if you can't get this to work in VR guys, it still plays pretty cool on a, on a flat screen. Because you actually feel like you're inside the car. So it's like playing it on a giant monitor, that sort of thing. I'm going to complete this race and then I'll jump into my desktop mode so you guys can see a better screen. At the moment I'm recording what I can see in my headset so you can see me uh, looking around the car. Okay, second position, lap one of three. I used to play this game all the time before I had VR. Like I said, back then it was under a different name. 
different engine. Okay, try and take out this guy. Some slowdown there in the game. You can play this game with a steering wheel. Okay, bash him out of the way. And in this game, you don't have to worry about hitting the, the other players because it's a game about um, destruction. Okay, final lap. Ouch, was that from behind? You do have uh, different camera angles on your car as well. You've got like a bonnet view, you've got a road view, that looks really awesome in VR in 3D. You've got a view behind the car, three different views. You can look behind you, I don't know which point it is. can find it can't find it there we go oh that's turned the camera okay that put me off my arrow keys um, changed the camera there to um, external okay try and get back into first place him out of the way break 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 hard turn okay did we do it yes I think we did it first place awesome okay guys I'm going to um, jump into uh, my um, desktop view so you won't get to see me looking around the, the car in my headset. You'll get a nice uh, screen to watch. Okay, can I change my car? Standings, difficulty, tuning. I don't think I can change my car once I started the event. Okay, here we go. Everything about this game is oozing class. Physics, suspension, graphics, the damage mechanics, it's just amazing guys. After I've completed this event, I'll show you guys one of the um, destruction matches. They're pretty fun. See, now I'm getting a sense of the uh, drops. Just like Dirt Rally, I'm getting a sense of the... Uh, I can feel these drops in hills now. And you don't get that sensation playing this game on a, on a flat monitor. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, let's ram him into the side. <laughs> okay, I'm facing the wrong way. Yep, thought I was. Okay, guys, back in the day, uh, this is a, a cool story to tell you. 
the game was called Next Car Game and I was there uh, recording some gameplay this is where this is well before oh that's a crossroad thing this is well before I had VR guys so this is playing the game pancake mode on a normal monitor back then my channel I used to do um, let's play videos just testing games on my graphics card I can remember playing this game and I caught footage of one of the AIs cheating in the game and the AI did a shortcut he went off the road came through the trees and he popped out the trees right in front of me I sent that clip to the developers and they were they were astounded because they not programmed the AI to cheat so the AI had decided just to cheat and it was amazing they thanked me for the find I'm not sure if they took the cheat out or if they configured the AI to not cheat anymore but that was really really cool guys it was like a real player he cheated he went off track went through the woods did not get penalized because the game was still being developed I remember that day vividly oh that was cool see what I mean all these trees ties everywhere smashes everywhere uh, look at the uh, car physics on the oh you see that have a look at the uh, damage physics on the cars guys so pay attention now to the damage on the cars They've really tweaked the damage models. The slightest hit will make a dent. You can bash panels off, you can knock doors off. I've been playing the game with the bonnet, my bonnet, flapping on my windscreen. What are you doing? Let's move this guy out of the way. Okay, I can see how badly these are damaged as well, so you can actually take these guys out. If they're badly damaged, hit them hard enough and they're after the race. Okay, it's around this guy. Uh, this game feels so cool to drive as well, the handling. It reminds me of, um, remember, you see my bonnet there? Do you remember the game Driver? For those of you who remember the game Driver, do you remember how cool that game handled? That's what this feels like. I'm on fire. I just noticed the fire coming out of my bonnet. Okay, fifth place. Let's do one more event. My uh, bumper's hanging off. And then I'll jump into uh, destruction mode. You can even race lawnmowers in this game. There's a mode in this game where you um, battle out lawnmowers. Okay, so that's a figure of eight. Survival challenge, let's try this. Big Valley Speedway Oval. Oh, we buses. Okay, this will be new. Okay. Okay, they're in a bus. I'm in a real old Renault. Okay, we need to finish in first position. I'm going to get mullered, aren't I? They've got buses. I'm trying to... Um... Ah! Okay, put the brakes on. I'm going to get squished. Oh, Christ. That's not good. My car's going to get hammered. This is not fair, they're cheating. Okay guys, I think um, the reason why I don't have a bus is because I don't have the funds for one. So when you win races, you win money. And with that money, you can buy new vehicles. I don't think I can afford a bus yet. There's a mirror on the floor there. 
so we'll do this um, challenge and then we'll jump into another one I'm in 14th place there's a bus there on its side now in this car I can look out my right window this is chaos, this is mayhem oh, okay I'm trying to uh, trying to dodge these guys I don't want to get squished oh crap okay that's scary look at the uh, debris on the floor as well Ah. Okay, fourth place. Oh, he ran me right from behind. You see that? Okay, let me try the different camera angles. Let's have a look at this car from. Um, see how battered it is. <laughs> look at that. Del Boy would be proud. Okay, he's out of the race. Oh crap, I looked it to my left. Round the back of a bus, okay. Third place, not too bad. Okay, that was not the event I wanted to show you. I've got some uh, unlocks there, look. And you can customise your cars. Okay, let me head back to the regional juniors. I've still got all these to unlock, look. World Masters, Challengers. Pro Internationals. Okay, let's go into the juniors. Natural born records for events. Madman Stadium. Okay, banger blitz. Let's try this one. There's the uh, lawnmower race challenge look. Okay, guys, for a treat, at the end of the video, I'll do the lawnmower one. Okay, let's jump into banger blitz. Um, I'm going to choose a different car. Let's go for the uh, the buggy. Okay, there's a figure eight anyway, so let's see what happens. This is going to be interesting when we. Um, Start to catch all the uh, those behind us. This cross road here is going to be uh, a site of mayhem. Yep, it's getting dangerous now. Mine out of the way. Oh Christ. Ooh, that's really scary though. Knowing any minute you're going to get rammed on the side. Look at that. Oh Christ. That was lucky. Okay, Demolition Derby, Mud Mayhem. Let's go for this one. Okay, last one standing in the mud pit. I'm back in the buggy and this game's got a really cool replay feature so try not to get run from the side ouch ooh bash so the idea is to try and um, take out the guys. Oh, rolled him. As you can see on the screen guys, you can see the damage meter. Uh, these cars take more damage from the side as well.
Okay, he's quite badly damaged. Oh, rambling from behind. A few more hits and he's out. Again, there's some slowdown. I've been getting the slowdown throughout the game. I don't know what's causing it. Bash. Is he out? I think he's out. He's out. Okay. Tires everywhere. Pure mayhem. Okay. Let's have a look at my car from um, behind. Okay, not doing too bad. Not too bad. Just a few scratches. He's out. He's out. Okay, try and take out the weaker characters. Again, some slowdown there. I have no idea what's causing the slowdown, guys. Okay, he's nearly out. Let's head back into the car. Ram him from the side. If I complete this, it'll be a miracle. Bash. Okay, he's nearly dead. Let's go for this guy. Okay, he's out, I think. He's running away. Okay, this guy's nearly out. Ooh, that was close. This game gives you some really hair-raising moments. And again, guys, this is like one-to-one. -one. I'm in the car. So even playing this flat screen in VR with Opex feels better than playing on a monitor. Hey, where are you coming from? Okay, he's nearly out. Let's try and finish him off. Okay, how am I doing? Eight people left. I'm doing quite well, really. Oh, just hit him from the side. Look at the mess as well. Look at all the debris on the uh, on the floor. Yep, tires everywhere. Okay, let's go for this guy. He rammed me. Spin around. Oh, we rolled. <laughs> Nearly. I think I'm out. Critical damage. Okay, critical damage means I can only go backwards. Uh, my car now look totally. Look at this. <laughs> Three wheels on my wagon. It's squashed. So I got critical damage on the front. My camera view turned to looking behind me. So I could only play the game in reverse mode. Okay, that was amazing. I got some credits. Uh, my uh, car's on fire. I'm going to finish the video with some uh, lawnmower racing. Couch racing. You can race in couches. They've added so much to the game, guys. Okay, go for the lawnmower. And you can customise all your vehicles with skins. Okay, I don't have any... Uh, oh, there we go. Here's my camera view. <laughs> Okay, this is awesome. Let's go for the... Uh... Again, you can uh, take these out, try and smash them off the uh, track. Okay, the lawnmowers are a bit harder to... Bloody hell! Did you see that? Combine harvester, who the hell's got that? These are a lot harder to handle. So... Okay, I don't want to get hit by that thing. Oh crap. 
I hit it. Full on. Yeah, these things are really hard to to um, handle. I've got a brand new combine harvester. I bet that thing's really cool to drive. Now I've not tried this game uh, multiplayer guys. So I don't know if Warpex will be banned or get you banned. My advice to people wanting to play Warpex games online, don't do it. There's a risk that you might get banned from the game. Um, a lot of multiplayer games consider Warpex as a cheat engine. So the game thinks you're cheating and will uh, ban your account. So I tend to just play single player games. Ooh, that was close. Mind the cones, mate. Oh, knocked him off. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Christ. He went flying. This game is so much fun. Even better in 3D. So to all you uh, naysayers, Vorpex haters, let me uh, put it on the replay mode while we uh, while I do the outro. Uh, the game's got a really cool uh, replay feature as well. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. I think this is where I hit the uh, combine. Let me see me hitting the combine and then we'll end the video. There we go. So there's even slowdown in the replay. See you in the next one. Bye!